Playing for India was a childhood dream of mine. And now that I have been it for six years, I don't want it to end. State tournaments, nationals and international all seemed like an illusion once. Being India number one, winning the Salalux Open, beating my idol two times Olympic gold medalist, Lindan, to attaining a bronze medal in Asian team championship and reaching the Italian international finals. To date, I pinch myself to see if I'll just wake from my sleep. Hi, I'm Shubankar Day and this is my story. It all started with my brother and sister. They were the ones that got me into badminton. My father passed away when I was two and all the responsibilities, financial and otherwise pondered onto my elder brother. He asked my sister to also get me playing when I was about eight years old. I was really young when I joined the Raipur club under the guidance of late Mr. Badal Bhattacharya and Mr. Laltu Guha. It was a small but special club for me. I nearly trained there for 12 years. But this club was very far away from my home. And obviously me being young, I had to be accompanied by someone. My sister was that someone. She had been given the responsibility to taking me to and from the academy. And to say the least, it had become tedious for her, not only because of the distance, but also in terms of managing her own study. I used to practice there for hours, almost like 4-5 hours in a day. So 2 p.m. we used to leave and 12 p.m. in the night we used to come back at home. So I was getting better and started performing in under 13s, under 16s, played one state championship for Bengal, met a few people in the hierarchy there, related to the nationals. Then at 16, I received a job offer from Food Corporation of India. And as the name suggested, it was a government job. Coming from a middle class family background, it was a very big thing for my family. And naturally, they wanted me to join. But something in me wasn't really convinced. But I decided to give it a shot. That was the only day I laid my feet in the office. And I immediately realized that this wasn't for me. If I were to take that job, I would have had to work for 4-5 hours a day and then go for training. So I didn't want to do that. So I decided I don't want to follow through uh, with it. My family was not at all happy with my sole focus on badminton. <clears throat> they didn't want me to not have a job and playing, only playing badminton basically. But all I wanted to do is play. And with that thought process, I, without telling anyone, I left my home with 500 bucks in my pocket and took a train to Mumbai for better prospects. I joined the academy there because, because of the coach. I was in contact with him through all that had happened in those days and only took leave of faith because of the trust I had in him. I trained there for about two years. In the early days, I used to miss my family a lot. Almost like three to four months we haven't spoken. But it was my zeal for the game that kept me going. When the under-19s came, I was performing well. But for nationals, things were not really going great. The facilities were much more, far better than those from my hometown, but not, not the best. And for my next step, the international, I wanted to go to the better environment for my development. So I found Mr. Tom John. He was a coach and he was coaching in an academy in Bangalore. So I found myself there. He was a very, very hardworking coach. Changed my lifestyle, play style, made me an international player from a national one. I learned a lot of things being under him. I achieved India number one working under him. But as they say, all good things must come to an end. And the saga of mine was just hanging by a loose thread. I had been facing financial issues. There for a fair bit. I was also coaching at my academy. I mean, I had to. 
because I really had no money left and to pay the fees I really had to coach for two hours. I sometimes even skipped my lunch or dinner in order to save money. Tom and the management was really aware of my problems but he couldn't really do much but about being the part of the structure. But I thought being Indians number one would help me with getting sponsorship both privately and from the Federation but that didn't really happen for me. Then only Waltz top 10 to 20 ranking used to get such kind of deals you know they used to get sponsorship otherwise not really for us. I had to miss out a lot of international tournaments and f that time I really had to play a lot of international tournaments but I couldn't do that because of lack of support. But in the end, it was all getting too much and I had to leave Bangalore. <clears throat> Starting approaching bigger clubs who could give me a little bit of support where I couldn't really have to give, uh, you know, pay the fees and everything. But nobody was really coming forward and supporting me. Nothing was really working out. Then I found a coach in Pune. I was in a talking terms with him. So he told me that, Okay, I will help you. So he gave me the support. I got an apartment, free food, free training, everything. He was supporting me. But the training was not really, really better. So I could save a little bit of money because he didn't really charge me anything. With that money, I was thinking to go to Malaysia for one month. It was a temporary training for a month. And I shared that thing with him like okay I want to go to Malaysia and train for my betterment but he was ne not really happy with that he told me that if you want to go then looking at you other players will also want to go and I won't, don't want to take that risk but I had to go for my betterment so unluckily my academy wasn't very supportive of this decision as they feared that others might do the same but as I was just thinking of that skill set that I would acquire there for the betterment of my game. I left and I practiced there for a month. Once I finished my one month of practice over there, I wanted to come back to Pune again. I spoke to my coach and he said like, okay, no, we, do, we cannot take you anymore. So I was, I was in a really tough sp spot that time and I didn't know where to go. Luckily, I got a friend who was from Bengal, he was my senior, named Jishnu Sanyal. He gave me that idea that why don't you go to Europe and play for a club? With that thing, maybe you can, it would be really good for you to travel for the international tournament. So I immediately said, okay, fine, you give me the details. And he gave me almost like 20 to 25 um, club information and I mailed all of them. And luckily, I got a response from one of the Danish clubs. So my bags were packed and I just had to come to India and do my documentations and the visa part. So I have done that and I flew. The time I had there was nothing like what I had imagined. It was so different, especially my first year in Denmark. It was a big culture change. And even when it came to sports, it was quite different to what I used to be in India. I would usually study for half the day and then train for the rest. Even though when I was training with the uh, players in Denmark, they were all right. Uh, all of them were there in sports college. So they were not really very professional guys. So I was really having a lot of difficulties over there to train really professional, working really hard. But it was difficult. At the start plus, you don't have any friends to go out with when you are free or talk about the pressure that's upon you. Even if you want to vent out your frustrations after the game that you may have lost. My routine there was train, study, go for the games and repeat. It was becoming lovely but and also monotonic. And financially too, it wasn't really helpful because... I used to be left with nothing significant after going for the matches 
the travel cost food it was costing me so much for the, all the international tournaments you know keep traveling hands and forth the extra mile and the stay in a hotel for a night all to you know it was really charging me a lot of cost i came to india during my breaks thinking i won't go back there and find an opportunity here itself but then another club contacted me and offered a way better deal than what i had previously and that club was in copenhagen so i could really manage my you know travel part you know so i thought like okay fine let us at least it will be better for me for the international tournaments let's give it a shot and this time everything was way more suitable uh, suitable for me i was performing well in international championship enjoying my game having fun living with the danish family there that was comfortable and it was the best part because i was feeling like i'm staying with my own family i had a small brother i was sharing my stories with him and he was really getting motivated so we were really gelling together so well so i was very happy so i ended up staying there for 3 years i kept signing the contract for 3 years and you know i was very happy so i wanted to have an so the thing is like there when i was in denmark i one day i was thinking like okay i wanted to have in my own academy not one for just established players but one where everyone is given an equal platform to perform with full backing from the organization and when i came back to india in 2018 that's what i did following in the footsteps of my first first ever trainer mentor my father figure mr badal bhattacharya sir he taught me to give back i started my own academy in kolkata how could i not that's the place where i started and i knew the lack of infrastructure there is a cause of concern for upcoming players there are huge potential kids are there but they are not getting the right training i was there for about 2 years and then i had to shift to mumbai for my family's convenience interestingly this time i was moving to this city for them not against their wishes the first time i finally reached out to my family a few months after leaving home and they were content so to save with the choice that i made and now my siblings help the academy in my absence my sister takes part of the taking care of the administration's part my brother he's part of the company and also my sister part of the company so we all working as a team i do wanted to go back to kolkata i do i still want to go back to kolkata and do something there i'm just waiting for the right golden opportunity to strike until then i plan on improving what we have there providing players with every resource they would need under one roof so that their talent doesn't have to seize its sights so wake up chase your dreams make them your reality someone along the way will help you out or you will figure out something yourself don't let that fire inside yourself burn out when you can be the enlightenment and as for my future i want to be the change that not only ignites someone else's candle of dreams but also fulfills its own potential to be the best badminton was is and will be my passion intertwined with my persona thank you